Well, hello, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. Uh, Sagittarius, I know I just did a, I just did a general, right? Pretty much, I just did a general. I plan on having two reads for you today, and I'm doing this a day early, so I have no excuse for not doing it, okay? So you have one that's going to be posted in the morning, which is this one, and then you're gonna have one in the afternoon or later at night, which is going to be your full blown out love reading. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with your reading. Okay, you always, you know that I always take the cards as they flip, if they do flip. Let's see if I can get one more for Sagittarius. <clears throat> Sagittarius, let's see. This is for Sag. Oh, that was too much. I think you got that one before, though. The basket where it talked about uh, reward for some type of recognition or something. I think you got that before. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, December. That's you, Sagittarius. That's your birthday. All right. First cards that came out here was Rabbit. Too much concern with sexual matters. This came out for someone last week. Sometimes, sometimes you deal with people, relationships with people that you shouldn't. And the reason why you do is because the sex is amazing. Some of you are just horny and you're not thinking, okay? And, you know, I don't think the, maybe the quality of the relationship isn't good enough. And sometimes it's like you're, the, the relationship is fine, but you're just so concerned over sex. You're not even, you know, getting other things done. So that's coming out for one of those reasons that I just stated, okay? So the next card, which is a really good card here, it says, Great worry over nothing. That is like such a fantastic card to see. You have a lot of anxiety, a lot of worries. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't worry. You know, like that card is like, great worry over nothing. And you're like, wait a minute, I have things to be worried about. But this is the universal God's way of letting you know that you will be okay. Take a deep breath. Everything will be fine. Okay. And then for, for some of you, that is, you know, some extremes that you're dealing with. All right. Um, but I like the fact that that's there. You know, personally, you know, I would know and I'll be able to tell you, but that looks good, at, you know, just for a general reading. You also have a card here that says deep personal strength and peace that assures success. A lot of success here. A lot of peace here. Deep healing is here. You're, you're way stronger. Baby, I'm telling you, Sagittarius, you know, I've been through so much stuff. It almost seems like nothing phases you. And if you're not at that place, that's where you that's where you will be. It's like nothing phases you anymore. It's made you stronger. You, those trials that you've experienced made you stronger. Yes. Yes. You have you have assured success here. I mean, what an amazing read. <laughs> it's like you have a short success. And we're going to see what, what's going to hit that card because it could be love and money, right? It could be a lot of different things. But yeah, this is the extra card that came out. Uh, what is this? Bird flying. News is on the way. News is on the way. Okay. Are you waiting for someone to communicate with you? Are you waiting for news to come in? Whatever that is, it's coming. Okay. Really good. All right, let's keep going. This is going to be for... Sagittarius. Let's see what else is going to come out. We got a few different Oracle decks we're going to be using. This is for Sagittarius. Okay, there it is again, Messenger. You got some, you got some type of message coming up in here. All right, you have Secret Admirer. There's a gift right there with this person. Secret Admirer. Or someone who is lurking on your social media. <laughs> uh, maybe you admire somebody. But I, I'm definitely seeing a secret admirer. Well, it's here. It's not the fact that I'm seeing it. It's 
coming out, secret admirer, okay? But I'm telling you what I see. I feel like this is also someone that you are admiring, okay? Money going down a drain. I don't know why you will be doing this or why this is shown, okay? I'm not, I mean, usually when this card comes out, it's because you are doing something that you need to avoid. Now, that could be spending money on things, gifts, trying to impress someone. Um, you know, this could be just, you maybe are just not good with money. And that happens. I did not know that people were like that. This one lady was like, you know, I, I really do need help. So I get someone who's not an accountant. I think she has her sister or somebody. I saw it off of TikTok. I was like, wow. So some people really are not that good with finances like that. Um, so with this, it's just, you know, you know that there needs to be some changes here. Okay. Um, money just going down a drain. So just be aware of that. You got Aquarius. Could you be dealing with an Aquarius? Something could happen around Aquarius season, which I believe is what, February? No, we're in Aquarius season now, actually. So something could happen within the next month, okay? Either you're dealing with Aquarius or something could happen within the next month. Maybe it's this message. Maybe this is this communication that you were waiting for. Somebody is like, please give me a chance, please. Okay, that card tried to come out, all right? <laughs> Somebody like, please give me a chance. We had enough time. We done had our break, babe. Come on, you know, come back to me. It's somebody in your reading that's like that, that's begging to come back into your life, okay? <laughs> Let's see, let's get some more. Somebody is really in love with you or somebody is obsessing over you. It may not, you know what's so funny? It may not even be a part, you know, this, that part with the obsessing. It may not even be a lover. You know, sometimes people be, you know, your enemies, they be just so obsessed over you. People who just want to be like you be obsessing, be thinking about you the whole time. You had dropped the weight. Some of you have lost weight. Okay. Some of you guys need to start moving. If you want to lose weight, you need to start moving. <laughs> You're not going to be able to lose weight by not moving. I see exercises here, so that's really good. But you are going to drop someone who... You're going to drop whatever, if it's a person, you're going to be dropping that, okay? Or you probably already have, but yeah, look at that. I just said enemy disguised as friends. I don't think I said that in that way, but I did say someone who was an enemy. You got somebody around you who's pretending to be your A1 or your ace, your A1 or whatever. You, you got somebody around you who is not who they're portraying to be, especially with that enemy disguised as a friend. A friend acting like this? Damn. This is like dropping a bomb on you, right? Something that you realize. You're like, damn, I didn't even see that coming. That went right over my head. <sighs> That's what some of you guys are going to be experiencing. And sometimes the enemy disguised as a friend could be a lover or someone that you with, right? And, you know, they're your best friends, but yet they're doing things to betray you in a way. Why am I saying 911? The cops coming around. You also have Pisces season. Or you be dealing with a Pisces. Replace your fear with faith. What are you see when I say that fear and anxiety? Anxiety where it says great worry over nothing. Again, I'm not saying that you don't have a reason to be to to worry about things, but I like the fact the universe is saying it's okay. It's gonna be all right. Replace that fear with faith. I know it's so hard, though. I know it's so hard. Some of you, be careful with driving, okay? Because I did see there could be cops being called or someone can call a cop. There could be some fights that break out, okay? Pisces. There's a lot of spiritual growth here. Because a Pisces card is hitting that deep personal strength. Pisces is considered to be the more so of the spiritual sign. There's a lot of healing and releasing going on with your life. And if it hasn't, it will be learning to forgive, learning to move on. <clears throat> you got the king of air.
Oh man, you guys are gonna come across somebody who's gonna try to hit it and quit it. And the universe is like, I know you like them. I know you like them. They think you think they sexy. You think they sexy, but guess what they gonna do? They gonna hit it and quit it. They gonna hit it and quit it. Cause that's a ghosting energy. That's a ghosting card. Yep. Competition, competitiveness in this reading. Hmm. Well, that's part of the enemy. Again, someone around you who's supposed to be your friend, okay? Who's supposed to be your friend is literally, you know, it's some odd reason feeling like they're competing with you, jealous over you or whatever. And it's affecting your mental health, okay? Some of you, it's affecting. I do see something up with your, your actual health, okay? I don't know. There's Somebody isn't sleeping. Somebody isn't sleeping. And it can really cause physical problems in your body. Pay attention to your body. It tells you things. Do you have enough energy? Do you have aches and pains? Are you moving? Like I said before, certain things like that. I am seeing that with your physical body and mental health. But you got somebody here that's petty. Petty as hell. All up in your reading. This person could be an Aquarius or a Pisces or some type of air. Well, air sign is Aquarius. But it could be Aquarius, Aquarius or a Pisces. I see some endings here. I'm telling you. Ooh. Ooh. That just slipped right out my hand. Spirit guide and abundance. You definitely got abundance here. Wow. Time to celebrate the arrival of abundance and spirit guides. That's kind of what you see with that eagle, that bird. It's like spirit is, it definitely has your back. I do see where it looks like the universal guy has you. New, it says new guys are coming. You have help through your lessons, losses, and important milestones of your life path. The universal God has heard you and your prayers. And this is just to let you know that you are definitely, um, this is a protection card too. And it's like you're being rewarded for some things. I've talked about that before. That is amazing. It says your ability to hear them. Some of you are going to become more psychic. You are going to be able to hear or see um, spirit beings or just, just in general specific signs and messages. I think it's more so dreams for you guys. I think I always talk about dreams for you. So I feel like it's more so dreams. This is for Sagittarius. And we're going to get into the Tarot now. Let's see what comes out here for Sagittarius. You are definitely in your head. Definitely. You are going to be standing in your power. You are. But I do believe that you have allowed people to take your pizzazz. Made you feel... And you may not have even said this out, out, you know, even to your best friend. But I feel like you have made them, no, they have made you feel like you weren't all of that in a bag of chips. You know, there's this thing that the way people have treat you, treated you, you have been feeling less than, less than sexy, less than beautiful, less than worthy. Maybe you're wondering why, why you haven't been able to you know, manifest the things that you want. That is going to change completely. Okay. You know, you've been living your life on a lot of superficial, uh, superficial terms. And this is not everybody, but I'm telling you, uh, you, you weren't going deep enough. The universal God is like, babe, you're going to have to go way deeper than this. And I do see you going deep. And I feel like now you're going to feel more confident. You're going to feel beautiful. You're going to feel like excited about what's coming towards you in the future. This is for Sagittarius. There it is. That five of wands competition is right in your, I mean, it is coming out like crazy competition. Damn. Fights and drama. Fights and drama. Mm. 
Okay. Well, either way, it looks like spirit got your back. It was spirit, guys. So that's all you can say about that. You know, I just feel like the thing is with you, you there's this tired energy. I feel like you have, it's like enough is enough. Okay. You have been fighting for a lot of things, meaning fighting your own thoughts, fighting other people. It's like you always feel like you've been fighting your way. So this is the reason why I feel like um, this whole uh, the spirit guys and abundance thing is like, no, nah, you know, I, I got your back now. You don't have to fight anymore. But there's a lot of people that is very envious of you. It is so obvious in this reading. They want what you want and you had to work for that shit. So it's like, you know, some people feel like things were handed to you. You're like, no, I had to work for the shit that I got. Like, what are you talking about? But that's what this looks like. Like, I had to work for everything I got. Oh, you got the tower card. There is definitely going to be a breakthrough. So I feel like at the moment, you're still holding on to some things, holding on to resentment, holding on to um, pain. You know, there's a lot of, lot of things that you have not realized yet, and you will have a breakthrough. Especially with that tower card hitting at Aquarius, this is this is possibly the reason why it's happening. Pluto hitting the Aquarius. This is what what is it called? The Pluto going into Aquarius. This is the new moment for you. There's going to be a lot of changes that you're going to be experiencing um, over the next few years. Okay, but I definitely see a, a change coming into your life, unexpected too, because the tower card is hitting that abundance card. Unexpected communication from spirit guides, uh, dreams that you're going to see and just unexpected abundance that you're going to have. OK, so like I said, uh, Sagittarius, listen, OK, I'm coming back to do a part two, OK, because I'm doing this the day before, so I won't have an excuse. So I'm going to go ahead and post this. Thank you, guys. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. I love you and I'll see you back a little bit later. Bye.